Well, we haven't had many slung shots in this SAP blackjack and slung shot history, have we? So here's one. It's by Robert Garcia, and those of you who have seen his other work on my channel would instantly recognize his signature leather work. And yeah, slung shots came in a super wide variety, you know, standardized and non-standardized, just as saps and blackjacks did. So this one here is nice and small. It's interesting. And that's a lot of what you see nowadays. But from my research, originally they were long weapons. They are kind of the long distance impact weapons of this family group. And that doesn't mean very long distance. But nowadays they tend to be sap sized. But they still count, as long as it has a strap or a loop of some kind for a handle. Rope is, I would say, the uh, classic material, which has now been replaced by paracord. Regardless, what you get is a mini flail. So you get maximum speed, in my opinion, but uh, minimum recoverability. It's like hitting something with a whip. You have to reinitiate the entire momentum swinging motion. You can't just do a, uh, you know, whack-a-mole kind of technique to strike again. This one, like I mentioned, comes in a nice small package. In fact, I can compare it to a blackjack, and you can see they're really about the same size. So like I said, historically, that really wouldn't have been the case. And you can see why, in a way, the jack generates a lot of power in a short space because of that spring that it has. But the strap on the slung shot is not going to give you that kind of energy building and dispensing. So again, more like a whip, then the longer the material, the more force you can generate. And the other thing, as you probably remember, is that with a fully flexible connection like that, you have to worry about the weapon coming back and hitting you, just like with an nunchaku or anything else. Well, that doesn't happen with blackjacks or saps, like this one here. You could try all day. Again, there's a size comparison showing how small our, our slung shot is, but uh, you could try all day, and you're not going to hit yourself on the hand with a rebound with that sap. Right? And I have... It's still, you know, swinging, momentum-based weapon, but... Look at that range of motion. That's just nothing compared to what the slung shot gives us. So how do you minimize that danger? Well, by having a soft load. I know you couldn't hear that, but there's a soft load, and that means it's less likely to rebound, or it's not going to rebound as hard, certainly, when it strikes the target. And the metal shot inside this one does that. The other way is by hand position, right? By holding it. So how am I going to hold this guy? Okay, well, if I swing that way, it seems fairly safe, and I can even make a fist. Look at that. I could punch full power while holding onto this guy. So... That's a pretty interesting configuration for this real short-looped slung shot like this. I'm pretty happy with that. And you see the motion there. That's exactly the same as if I was swinging a flat sap. So here is a flat sap, also by Mr. Garcia. I'll have to do a video on that one later and see these kinds of edge strikes. Well, they're not an option for the weapon we're looking at today, only those paintbrush-style ones. Now, off the top of my head, I can't think of ever seeing anyone hold a slung shot or a monkey fist or whatnot quite like this, but it feels really good. I can swing with full power. I could even open up my hand if I had to, to grab onto something and still have the sap, kind of like a palm sap. Pretty neat. I'm using sap generically there, of course. We are talking about a slung shot, and we have not yet talked about how gorgeous this thing is. From here, you can see it almost looks like the head of a flat sap with the handle removed and replaced by a loop. Uh, speaking of that broad, flat surface, another advantage is, as it does rebound towards you, your, you know, whatever leftover energy it has, if it does make contact with your hand, well, it's going to be across a flat surface, and that's different from, say, like a, uh, a metal ball bearing, right, coming back, and concentrating the force on the point of impact, so much more likely to uh, cause you injury. So we actually have three ways this mitigates the rebound, right? It's the flat surface, because a lot of slung shots have a, a round spherical load, the soft load, in this case metal shot, and the grip. And once we combine all those, we still get the full power swing effect, which you can see here in just a sec. And that's even with this really short length. So that was in slow motion, obviously, and it was just the blink of an eye. And there it is in freeze frame. So great little slung shot, uh, interesting way to go about it as well. Since this is not the type of slung shot that's popular today, it's more of a throwback and a beautiful piece of work. Thanks.